Welcome, welcome everyone. It is Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley here, joining me for yet another podcast. I know I've been absent for a minute, but I have been staying youthful forever. <laughs> Our topic today, this evening, this afternoon, wherever you are tuned in from, is how to stay youthful forever the top secrets of the fountain of youth and as your self-proclaimed fountain of youth guru. I will be sharing inspired tips and secrets from my very own 100 year legacy of my Afro-Indigenous family roots. These are tried and true tips that work there is no AI here, no altered images, no foundations, no filters, just raw beauty. So if you'd like to find out how to kind of tap into your own soulful self-care and get with your wellness routine, stick around for the next 20 to 30 minutes and I'm going to share my top tips, which have been in my family for at least a hundred years or more. And we'll get down to the nitty gritty, but first I want you to enjoy a little soothing sound from my favorite flautist, Ms. Kim Scott. Golden, living your life like it's golden. After all, we only have one and this ain't no dress rehearsal. <laughs> so let's make the best of it. I know that a lot of times our energy ebbs and flows. We might be going through some trauma drama. We might be in a dark hole and we don't know how to lift ourselves out. Let me say, start by grounding yourself in prayer. Get rooted in your daily meditation and place your efforts and your energies into yourself. Self-love, self-care is everything. And if you don't know by now, God will lead you through, whether it's God, the creator, the universe, for me, it's all wrapped up in God. <laughs> so if you need help getting it together, stay rooted, take your breath, breath is life, and listen to your music. I find that music literally soothes a soul soothes your spirit. So whatever you're in the mood for at a particular time, whether it's classical, whether it's jazz, whether it's reggae, whether it's rock, whether it's rap, whatever music floats your boat is what you need to be vertebrate. Is that the word? <laughs> through your soul, through your spirit. Tap into your spirit, ground yourself, ask yourself what it is that you need at this very moment to inspire you, to make you feel better. And at the end of our presentation today, I will share a few of my products, award-winning products from my natural sustainable collection, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, Mindfully Melanated Essentials, so, you know, we'll kind of get into some things and, and talk a little bit about some of the fragrances and um, our award-winning facelift in a bottle face serum and just a few finishing touches on that beautiful portrait that you call your foundation. All right, so I am going to join you now I think if everything works, look, we are in Mercury retrograde right now. And, you know, Zoom wasn't Zooming. Here I am. <laughs> okay, 
Zoom wasn't Zooming and I didn't know what was going on, but without further ado, what I recommend is that you get your tools, um, a notebook, pen, pencil, crayon, whatever you want to use, uh, a pad, a tablet. Um, I'll give you a few minutes to get that. I'm sipping on water. It's been so hot across the country uh, these last 60 days. So there's nothing like water to keep you hydrated. So I have my water here and for uh, a little extra <laughs> juice, I've got my Chablis. Nice, okay. Chablis is one of those grapes that um, is procured and curated very exclusively. So you don't find Chablis everywhere, uh, but it is a very light, a floral, crisp wine. And um, I've been detoxing for a minute now. And so starting back with my wine, the Chablis is the right thing. Okay, so you should have everything now. You know that we are talking about how to stay youthful forever, top secrets from moi, <laughs> your self-appointed Fountain of Youth Guru. I am Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley. I am a doctor of integrative medicine. I also have over 30 years experience as a certified clinical aromatherapist, a master herbalist, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, and a medical doctor in the specialty of integrative medicine. Uh, Lowell, let me just scroll down and, and we can find out a little bit more about me. Is this going to work on our behalf? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, fun facts about me. Um, music is very important and integral to my soul and my foundation. I uh, am a pianist. I learned to play the piano when I was, I think I was six or seven years old. And I also play the clarinet. So music is very, very closely impacted into everything I do. And I know that today was a tough day for me. Energy wise, I was just feeling bleh, bleh, you know. Um, I knew that I had to get on and speak with you all and share with you because I've missed you. I've been away from you for a minute, but I also knew I didn't have the energy. So there are a few things that I had to take myself through. One thing that always, always picks me up when I'm down is music. All right, so a little bit about me. Uh, I graduated from Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, New York with um, a double major in English and Africana Studies. And then I went on to Northwestern University, the Medill School of Journalism for my Master's of Science in Journalism. All right, so then my first act, I spent 20 years um, with the PBS network. And during that time, I was an exec VP, um, PBS, BBC, New York, and I won two Emmy Awards. My team won, won two Emmy Awards for best documentaries. And, um, then I came to Las Vegas. That's a whole lifetime movie and story. <laughs> I'll get into that story time at another time because we're going to do more story times as I enter my birthday season, which is September 8th. <laughs> um, so I'm also an adjunct um, professor of English composition, literature, uh, thesis intensive work, and I work closely with a curriculum that I am one of the co-founders, the Sankofa English Initiative, where I teach a Harlem Renaissance literature and thesis intensive. And um, okay, so then fast forward or rewind, um, I decided that it was time to fulfill a dream of mine. When I first started Vassar, I was pre-med but that got a little derailed. 
Um, so I decided to go to ASU and get my medical degree at the School of Integrative Medicine. Um, and then recently I have uh, received my certification in anxiety and PTSD trauma healing. So um, we'll have to talk about that separately too. There's a lot of trauma drama going on right now, myself included. My company, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty. I am an award-winning CEO of my company. My collection has been featured in Macy's and in Nordstrom's. In Macy's in the years 2019, 2020, we were cited as the it and now best beauty new company. And we launched here in Las Vegas at the fabulous, famous um, fashion show mall on the Strip. I am also a foodie, a wine enthusiast, and an artist. And literally, when things get rough for me, when the energy starts to feel and I start to feel that shift in the planet <clears throat> or with people around me, I get into the kitchen. And if you go to my Facebook, Dr. Monica Bickerstaff or Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty on Facebook, uh, you will see some of the new uh, dishes that I've curated in the last 48 hours because it's been a little rough out there. And also um, follow me on Instagram at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley. All right, so that's enough on me. Let's get into what we are here for. Words of wisdom, you should never sacrifice your vim, vigor, and vitality, no matter what stage of life you're in. This is a phrase that my Nana, who lived to be 101 years young, used to say to me as I was growing up, you should never sacrifice. Actually, she said to me, a woman, but this applies to you gentlemen as well. Uh, you should never sacrifice your vim, vigor, and vitality, no matter what stage of life you're in. So as I've grown in wisdom years, what does that mean? That means you have to be steadfast with your boundaries and you have to be practical and prioritize your self-care because the only way you are going to be able to maintain and manage these youthful fountain of youth tips and secrets that I'm getting ready to share with you, you have to have boundaries and you have to prioritize your self-care. That means you have to learn how to say no, and no means no in every language. It is a full sentence. Okay, so did you know that 87% of women over 40 and 92% of men over 40 are living with an autoimmune imbalance? So what does that mean? It means that we're all sick <laughs> or we all are walking around with some sort of dis-ease in our body temple, which is easy to fix. Uh, again, with um, the prioritization of your self-care, you can kind of, some things we carry in our DNA, right? Some things are hereditary. That's why it's so important to know what your family health history is. And then sometimes you can just defy that. You can defy some of the stages of aging, which might be vision loss or loss of hair or skin wrinkling and sagging or weight gain around the middle or uh, low E, low energy um, with men, ED, uh, with women, some of the symptoms and challenges that go with menopause. Uh, and men, you have your own stage of andropause, okay? So um, yeah, you can defy all of this, seriously, all right? So what do you do? How do you do it? Uh, Self-love, self-care, aromatherapy, fragrance notes, which I'll get into a little bit more about that. Your mindset, protect your peace. Now that's a, I thought I came up with that phase, <laughs> phrase, protect your peace, but now I'm hearing it everywhere, but it's so important. That means stick to it with respect to your boundaries, okay? 
affirmations, because if you don't affirm yourself, who else is going to, right? So the first thing you do when you wake up is you affirm yourself. I am, am, am in that blank. What do you put? And I have some suggestions for you. What's in your beauty products and in your grooming and self-care products? It's very interesting and very important for you to know. And then breathing, your breath of life. That's all I have to say. Breathing, breath is life, okay? So what is self-love and why do you need to get you some? And why do we need to teach our babies and our youngins how to love on themselves and what self-love is about? Self-love is the practice of nurturing yourself, being considerate of your personal well-being, cultivating gratitude, and easing up on yourself when you make mistakes. That means have a little grace when it comes to you. Have a little grace when it comes to people that surround you. And then have a little grace with strangers. And when I say strangers, I'm not talking about people that disrupt your spirit. I'm talking about maybe when you're in the grocery store or maybe you're in the Starbucks line. And, you know, you just have to have a little patience these days and, and show a little grace to people um, because everyone is hurting right now. We're all wearing, a, we are all wearing a mask and I can 100% stand 10 toes to the ground on that, okay? In my private practice with respect to grief and trauma, healing, counseling, coaching right now, I'm, I, it's, everybody's going through something, right? And we don't necessarily have to, we don't have to at all, we should not at all be posting on the Facebook what we're going through. <laughs> but um, we should uh, be aware of what we're going through, how our spirit is disjointed and disrupted and figure out a way to recenter ourselves, all right? We're going to need to be recentered and strong in these upcoming months, all right? Take a moment to think about what self-love means to you. So if you are catching this podcast tuned in or you are watching this on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Dr. Monica Bickerstaff, drop down in the comments and tell me what you feel self-love means to you and how do you show yourself self-love? And also if you're watching this on YouTube, it only takes a second to like this video and drop a comment in the comment section and then subscribe to my channel while it's still free. Okay. <laughs> Things are changing so rapidly now while it's still free, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff. All right. Only takes you three seconds. All right. So radical self-care, what you need to know. I believe that self-care is health care. I don't go around saying that or talking about it unless you're going to attribute that to Dr. Monica, <laughs> all right? But I believe that self-care is health care. Uh, the practice of developing an understanding of your needs and creating a space in your life to fulfill them. Remember, your needs are unique. My needs are not like this person's or that person's. Dr. Monica's needs are Dr. Monica's needs, all right? Know how to satisfy and fulfill your needs. Understand what it means to create a space in your life to fulfill your needs. Create a space in that deficit because we don't want to fall into that deficit, right? We always want to stay a step or two above, elevate above that deficit. And when you know yourself well, you know when you're getting ready to slip and you know what you need to do to elevate your spirit, elevate your body, your mind, get your mindset right, and then start getting back into your own group, right? Okay, so what do you do on a daily to nurture your self-care? That's your second question I'd like you to answer. If you are tuned into the podcast or if you're watching this on Dr. Monica Bickerstaff at YouTube, I want you to share with me in the comments, what do you do daily to nurture your self-care? 
All right, now we're going to talk about aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is a 5,000, well, now it's more than, it's 6,000 years. Um, uh, science, medical science um, that has been a part of our ancient civilizations, uh, starting in Egypt, looking into Asia, uh, Africa. Um, this is the science of how scent affects our mind, body, and spirit. How scent, our olfactory, our sense of smell, how our sense of smell heals the mind, body, and spirit, okay? So let's get into it. Did you know that 75% of all emotions generated every day in our beings are due to smell? Our sense of smell affects mood, concentration, memory, recall, and our emotions. And research shows us that there is a 40% improvement in mood after being exposed to pleasant scents. So let's pause for the cause for a second and make sense of these scents. This is one of the reasons why I started uh, my award-winning fragrance, natural fragrance, clean fragrances uh, for women and for men. I grew up surrounded by flowers and the potent medicine of floral medicines. Um, probably when I was about the age of four, my Nana showed me what a lot of florals like peony and jasmine, and especially rose, um, how to distill these petals to create oils and how to apply those oils to the body uh, to heal certain things. Also, that's when I started learning about herbs like peppermint and rosemary and cinnamon, uh, citrus, the scent of orange and grapefruit, um, you know, how fragrance affects not only your mood, but how fragrance heals the body. So looking at just a few fragrances in my line for women, I've got Egyptian goddess. What happens when you inhale anything? Uh, our first response is it kind of, creates or you have a memory that might be creative, created. Um, when I inhale cinnamon, it's a real happy time for me, a happy space for me. I keep a lot of cinnamon around because um, those were like times of happy gatherings in my childhood, all right? Citrus does it for me. Citrus gives me a burst of energy inhaling orange, something orange, something grapefruit, um, essential oils like sandalwood, patchouli, jasmine, uh, and then my own fragrances. So Egyptian goddess, you inhale Egyptian goddess, which is amber, musk, and vanilla through your nose, obviously. It hits the limbic part of your brain, which affects everything. And when I say everything, all of the important things in your body. It helps to stabilize how you manage um, insulin. It helps to regulate your cholesterol and your blood pressure. It helps to stimulate your pancreas, your gallbladder. Um, the limbic part of the brain regulates our hormones and our hormone levels. All right, so Egyptian goddess inspires courage. And then I have unapologetic, which is, uh, let's see, I have notes of plumeria, peony, magnolia, and ylang ylang. And this speaks so much to um, your truth. <laughs> you inhale this, and then you just start spilling it. <laughs> you just start spilling your truth. Wait a minute. <laughs> Apply some right now. Okay. And then another favorite is Cleopatra Love, 
inspires love of self, helps with love of that special person in your life, your partner. This is pure love. Uh, jasmine and rose, gardenia, a little bit of sandalwood. This is pure love, I promise you. This is amazing. And then for you men, I have smoked oud for men. Oud is a resin like frankincense, uh, has a little frankincense and patchouli, some myrrh and some oud. This is sexy and tantalizing. And um, this will give you a little jump start. <laughs> all right. So uh, all of my fragrances you can buy online in my store at drmonicasnaturalbeauty.com. And you can also visit my uh, shop on Amazon, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty. Okay. All right. So fragrances that soothe the soul, jasmine, rose, geranium, lavender, lily of the valley, patchouli, sandalwood, and oud. All right. These are some of my favorite favorite fragrances because they immediately get my mindset right. I'm gonna let that sit with you for a minute. You know, we live in a space where we want everything now. We want that instant gratification. We don't know how to savor life anymore. I'm not gonna put we in it because me, I me knows how to savor life right now. Life is so precious. Uh, but I know that um, like if I feel like I need more energy, I'm not even going to tell you what time we're tuned in uh, on the West Coast, <laughs> but I had to like get a little burst of energy. So I literally did um, inhale some unapologetic with a little bit of oud, you know, kind of get my yin yang together. So anyway, uh, let's let's proceed. All right. One of the important things that you can also do, um, you can also diffuse fragrance throughout your home. I don't recommend the plugins because those have a lot of endocrine hormone disruptors, a lot of synthetic fragrances, a lot of toxins that will just put you on tilt, create more of an imbalance and then uh, stimulate cortisol um, in your body, uh, stimulate inflammation in your body, and then that leads to a whole bunch of other things, right? So um, diffuse natural oils. Again, uh, natural diffusers, you can come to me at drmonicasnaturalbeauty.com. You can... Um, Amy at Fountain of Youth Guru 6969 at Gmail. Uh, there's so many ways that we can curate that special natural fragrance for you to diffuse throughout your home. All right. Um, and, you know, fragrance is important because we can decide who we want to be, how we want to be, and be unapologetically awesome every day. But we have to choose to be this way and we have to feel worthy of that choice, all right? Know that you are worthy. One of my favorite affirmations when I awaken each morning is, I am enough, I am worthy all the time. So let's talk about protect your peace. Um, we hear this so much, but really, if there is something or someone or an energy that you feel when you walk into a room or walk into a space or someone comes into your presence and you just start feeling, you know when you don't feel right. You know when that person is not right. You know when that person disrupts your peace and calm. That means don't be around that person anymore. <laughs> Figure out how you're going to exit stage left so that you can preserve not only your peace, but so that you can preserve your mindset and your physical well-being. Because let's face it, if you're living in a space, sharing a space with someone, and they are toxic to your system, you need to be figuring out 
how either you're going to get out of that space or if that space is yours, how you're going to push them out of that space. Do it with grace, do it with dignity, do it with class. <laughs> okay, but um, clear your space, <laughs> okay? So um, one thing that I like to do at, at the end of each day for me, each evening, and I'm going to challenge you all to see if you can end today or your day with peaceful thoughts and a relaxed attitude, all right? Focus on the good things that happened during your day and let the rest of the mess go. <laughs> Tomorrow is a new day. Seriously, when you, if you don't finish it today, it'll still be there tomorrow. So you really need to focus on clearing your mind and uh, resting your body so that you can tackle all of that mess on your plate. Look, your plate's gonna be full. All of our plates are full right now, overly full. This society here in this country is just, we're just full plates, right? But eventually everything's gonna be eaten off that plate. <laughs> so take your time and move through it. Um, get yourself a to-do list, get yourself a vision board, get yourself a whiteboard to organize yourself. I just already gave you three suggestions, all right? Um, and it's a choice. It's your choice. So make it count. And what do I mean by that? Stop putting off your foibles and your failures on someone else. Because if you are watching this, if you are tuned in, you are a grown person. And you are old enough to know that you make your own choices. We don't always make the right choices for ourselves, right? But we don't know if they're wrong choices unless we're in it. And if we're in something and we're experiencing something that ain't right for us, make another choice, make a plan to move on. Again, protect your mind and protect your physical well being. One of the reasons that we are seeing in, in our community um, Alzheimer's uh, affecting so many people, some at the age of 27, before 35, um, you know, it's, it's not typically an over 70 year old issue anymore. We're seeing it in, in the medical community. We're seeing it affect younger people. Well, one of the reasons is because of the dag on social media and too much time spent on all of these electronic devices. Nobody is in the brain gym anymore. Nobody is testing their memory and, and preserving their mind and their mental faculties anymore. That's a whole nother story. But the other thing is we're making poor choices that we are not getting out of quickly. You know when something is not right for you. You know when a shoe is, when you try on a shoe and it's not a good fit, you know when something or someone in your life is not a good fit. You gotta figure out how to get yourself, extricate yourself, remove yourself from that situation ASAP so that you can preserve your mind. Because the bottom line is when you are in a space with a toxic partner, a toxic business partner, life partner, it weighs on, eats away the gray matter that you need to do other things that apply to your purpose in this life. Because you're wasting so much time fighting with that person, trying to figure out how to one up on that person, competing with that person, arguing with that person, not liking that person, going along to get along with that person, that is wasted mental space and wasted mental energy and wasted time. Protect your peace by any means necessary. So what inspires us? What inspires you? My bath balls on this page inspire me. <laughs> My bath balls are unique because I infuse them with uh, natural floral botanicals, 
um, essential oils and liquid magnesium. Liquid magnesium is the elixir, that and vitamin D are the two elixirs that will keep you young and vibrant, keep you vigorous, keep you vital, um, keep your mental together, uh, keep your weight in check, all of that, vitamin D and magnesium. All right, that's another video too. No, I, you know, I've got over 260 videos on my channel. Subscribe to my channel, Dr. Monica Bickerstaff on YouTube. Go through all of my video library and you can learn everything you need to learn about keeping yourself together. All right. No matter how you're feeling, it's always worthwhile to practice grounding and soothing yourself through mindfulness. This way you can feel better connected in the present uh, when you feel anxious or fearful. I know we are all going through some very challenging times. I feel you and I care and I've got you. I want to make sure that you all are okay, seriously. So uh, grounding is getting up in the morning um, when you're ready to get out of bed, putting your feet on the floor. It's that simple. Putting both feet on the floor on the side of your bed, that's grounding you right there, right there. Taking a deep breath, a nice stretch, getting yourself together. <sighs> Great exhale, that's grounding you. Now you're ready to figure out where you're going to go and <laughs> what you're going to do next. Um, take one day at a time. Seriously, we don't know what we're going to face tomorrow. We just know that when we wake up, we should be grateful because we have the gift of that day that we're conscious enough to realize that we are in the present moment, experiencing time as a live, vibrant human being. And so what are we gonna do for self? What are we going to do for family? And what are we gonna do for our communities? All right, always know that you are enough. So some of the affirmations for daily encouragement that I like, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am secure, I am worthy, I am beautiful, I am confident, I am grateful, I am blessed. So these are affirmations that I say to affirm myself every single day. It's just a regular thing now, it's part of my routine. So what's in store? What's in your beauty products? We talked about this before. One thing that this country is really good for with respect to mass producing anything is to create, uh, especially our beauty products for our hair, skin, and body um, with synthetic fillers, with toxins, with carcinogens, with endocrine disruptors that are no bueno for our cuerpo. <laughs> They're not good for our body because um, it's one thing that we have endocrine disruptors that we're inhaling in our environment, right? Things that are manufactured through plastics, through the air, through smoke. But in our cosmetics and in our grooming products, one thing you always need to understand is that whatever you apply on your skin within 20 seconds, it penetrates into your bloodstream. And once it's in your blood coursing through your whole body, and affecting all of your organs, you are either contaminating yourself or you are creating a healthful space for yourself. And I can always tell what someone is doing to themselves or what they are ingesting or using for their skin, for their hair, for their body, just on site because what you put inside is reflected on the outside, okay? What you put inside is reflected on the outside. So the endocrine system is an intricate network of glands and organs that produce and secrete hormones. 
carrying vital information to various cells in the body. So for example, hormones enter the bloodstream to help control many major functions in the human body, such as your mood, your metabolism, your reproduction, your digestion, sleep regulation, blood sugar regulation, and bone and tissue growth. So seriously, what you ingest into your body, what you apply on the outside of your body is your health. Make it count, make the right choice. And visit Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, where you will find natural and sustainable products for hair, skin, body, and mood. So these are three of my favorites, Rejuvaflex, which is a muscle relaxant. It helps with a torn meniscus. It helps with arthritis. It helps if you have MS. It helps if you're going through chemotherapy with respect to helping to ease the pain and the aching after chemo treatments. Um, it helps to repair skin cells after chemo treatments. So Rejuvaflex is amazing. It is one of the recipes and remedies that has been in my family for 104 years. Non as healthy hair elixir, same thing. You know, regardless of how you choose to wear your hair, uh, it your the the length and the health and the vibrance of your hair starts with a healthy scalp, and that's what you will get from non as healthy hair elixir hair grow oil for men, women, and children. It is safe for the whole family to use. And I used to say, because we experienced this in our R&D six years ago, our research and development, that with Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir, if you have vibrant live hair follicles, I can grow hair on a bald man's head. <laughs> I've done it. I've got the uh, receipts. <laughs> so Nana's Healthy Hair Elixir Hair Grow Oil for the whole family. And then simmer down, Chica ladies, this is something especially for us, no matter what stage or phase of life you're in, simmer down, Chica, will help you to reestablish that balance in your hormones, and it will help with perimenopause, menopause symptoms, period symptoms. It will also help to manage that cortisol hormone that adds that belly weight around our middle which then throws us off balance with respect to our estrogen and our progesterone levels, um, our glucose levels, uh, a lot of things. So get you some Simmer Down Chica. It's a body oil. So you literally apply it to your body like you would any type of body butter or body lotion, but it's much better. And I blend it with um, white florals, which are natural estrogens, okay? So we all need a little estrogen in our life, <laughs> healthy, natural estrogen. The other thing that I want to talk about for a minute is uh, my facelift in a bottle. I use it. I come to you on all of my uh, videos in my photographs. As I said earlier, this is not AI verse. <laughs> There's no alternate invertedness, no artificial interpretation here. What you see is what you get. I am all natural, right? I always have my signature red lippy on, my black eyeliner, but this, no filters, no foundations. <laughs> Just me. Um, and I get this natural vibrance from uh, facelift in the bottle. This again, too, is a recipe, liquid gold, I call it. Um, and this is wonderful for men and women. Just a few drops go a long way. Literally, I just use maybe two or three drops. This is my moisturizer every day after I cleanse my face. I pat the serum into my skin. Right? Easy peasy. And look how I'm glowing already. What? Talk about instant gratification. All right, 
facelift in a bottle, you all need to get you some. I don't care what age you are. I know that uh, this serum works on everyone, men, women, and children. If you are a teenager or if you're someone who's grown with acne, this will help to clear up that acne. This will help with dermatitis and eczema, psoriasis. This is the best serum ever, all right? Zen for Men is my line, especially for my men. Uh, Zen for Men, so the beard oil is amazing because um, I infuse four natural oils with a little frankincense and some other essential oils to give you that smooth, texturized hair, beard hair that you're trying to grow, that you're trying to maintain, right? Because we women, we don't like scraggly. We don't like scraggly face. We don't like scraggly beard, right? And also if you are a man of color, and you have the ingrown hair follicle issue, the, the bumps, the razor bumps. This um, beard oil is the grooming essential that you need, only one grooming essential you need to help to clear up those bumps and make sure that that's not happening as frequently, okay? And also we talked about earlier, the Oud for Men, which is, um, a very mysterious and understated fragrance, but it is timeless and it is, it, it's unforgettable. <laughs> All right, let's talk about breath of life. Um, breathing not only fuels the body with oxygen, it can also clear a foggy mind and help strengthen the muscles. Yet few people learn how to breathe correctly or in a way that allows your body to function the way it should. So let's do just one breath here. There's so many different ways to breathe, but one of the ways is just like the deep inhalation. So you're gonna inhale literally from your core, the depth of your core, okay? Your grounding muscle. Whoa, all right. So what I did right there, I did that purposefully and with intention. So that was a breath that I literally inhaled quickly. I held it up here in my throat and then I exhaled sharply through my mouth and that cleared up my brain immediately. Look, if you have foggy brain, foggy bottom, that's the breath you need to do. So the importance of breath is it regulates blood pressure. It stimulates your metabolism. It alleviates anxiety and it oxidizes your lungs. So that breath that I just did again. <sighs> all right, it just brightened up my whole everything. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, I am Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley, Doctor of Integrative Medicine and founder of the award-winning Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, where we curate beauty and grooming essentials for the mind, for the body, for your hair, for your skin. Um, all natural sustainable ingredients blended with essential florals and oils. So I hope that this new week breathes new life into you. I hope the weight on your shoulders feels like less of a burden and more of a blessing. I hope you spend less time looking in your rear view and more time watching the road ahead. And I hope you find joy. Make the choice and make it count. You can find us online at Facebook at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff or Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty. Please like those pages. Follow me on Instagram at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley and hit me up on Twitter. Yes, I still use Twitter at Vegas Holistic. And I call it Twitter. I'm not calling it by the other thing. All right. I am uh, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, www.drmonicasnaturalbeauty.com 
to shop to you drop. Do I have any specials on right now? Yes. Yes. Our fragrances, our fragrance, my fragrance flash sale has been extended two or three times now. So fragrances are regular $29.99. Uh, you can get them now for $15. So everything, your favorites, Black Orchid, Egyptian Goddess, Unapologetic, Cleopatra, and Food for Men, you can buy them now for $15, all right? My contact information again, my mailing address is here. Email Fountain of Youth Guru 6969 at gmail.com. Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, my aromatique online, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty.com. Find me on Amazon at Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty. All right. So I have missed you. And I know I say at the end of all of these that I am going to come on every week and create a new video or what have you. And, you know, then it turns out to be two weeks, but I give myself grace. I want you all to give yourselves grace. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that I'm thinking about you. I want you to know that I have the best coming from my heart to yours. And I hope that I see you again soon. So what are we gonna do here? Let us close this out for a second. You can still hear me. All right, you can see me. Um, again, take care, get yourself a fragrance or two or three, <laughs> okay? It doesn't hurt to be stocked up. Oh, and definitely invest in facelift in a bottle, okay? This is going to be your best friend, right? Take care of yourself, treat yourself well, be good. And I'll see you soon.